who are you? I'm Wayne from the band The Flaming Lips. Who are you? I'm Nardwar to Human Surfer, yeah. And everybody probably already knows that, right. But I'm probably the first guy you ever interviewed that had a, a pre-bloodied Calvin Klein suit on, right? This is to win. It will kill them. They're just humans with wives and children. Wayne Coyne of the Flaming Lips. Tell me about Oklahoma City being a test market. Where are you from? Oklahoma City is a test it market. Is, Very is. interesting. Tell the people about that. I think that 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 is a, a polite way of saying it. It's like it's the bland middle area where if it works there, it would probably work anywhere. And this is this is the truth. The McRib was tested there and it didn't work. That's why you don't get the McRib now. But MTV was tested there and it worked. See, that proves that we know what we're talking about there. You're not going to give us some 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 meat that's been pressed up to look like a rib we're from oklahoma we know what a rib tastes like but mtv where you get women walking around with no clothes on and you get to hear rock and roll all day now that's something that oklahomans want so and here comes wayne coin with the flaming lips testing quite a bit now you're testing the blood thing some achievement wow. that's you know a big achievement you know testing the blood and stuff like that now what about this mic thing you have the video mic what's the video mic wayne oh, coin well, the flaming well, lips that's just these little devices you know that's such a we live in such a great scientifically diverse world these days that you can actually go online and go to one of these sort of spy stores and buy all these little things that you can spy on your friends with. So I got this little camera that's on my microphone up there and I just sort of connect it up so you can see my head. We have a screen that plays behind us. Sometimes you can see my big head and my boogers up my nose and all this sort of stuff right there while I'm singing. It would, it would sort of look like this. You know, kind of Did you get Justin Timberlake into a dolphin outfit well, that was smelling of sex? Exactly. Well, see, I did, wow, I like that. I hadn't used that. <laughs> and you are wing coin and a fleeman. I am, and I think it just goes to show that Justin Timberlake probably does a lot more drugs than everybody thought he really did in, in, to begin with, right? Right. Ba boom. But there you go. No, it's because he's a he's a nice guy and he's up for doing weird things. He likes to have fun. So you like to have people dress up as animals, and you do. supply the animals, we don't you? Buy the animal costumes, and usually they don't smell of sex. They smell good. They smell, you know, fresh and clean, like you just did the laundry. But occasionally, people do things in them, in the suits. And Justin Timberlake didn't care about climbing into the suit. He didn't care about the smell. He wanted to hear the music first, didn't he? He wanted to learn the dance moves. Well, he's got the dance moves down. That's why we wanted him to come up there and, and sort of rock out with us. And no, he, he was wonderful. And, and I think it just goes to show, who would, who would ever think that Justin Timberlake would care about the Flaming Lips? And here, when we met, he said, Dude, I'd, I'd love to come up there and play with you guys and do this song. He even, he even went, went to his hotel room that night and learned the song. Interviews winding up, but why <laughs> did your Brian Wilson interview never see the light of day? You interviewed Brian Wilson. I did, I why did, did it not see the light of day? Because, what the hell happened? Because Brian Wilson, I mean, I know me and you are a pair of weirdos, but compared to us, Brian Wilson is just too weird. It's unsettling to see him interviewed with me on TV, to tell you the truth. I have the interview with me, and maybe someday we'll. Well, just prove. You how. have it on your bus right now? Well, I, I don't know if I, I, I have, I carried it on the Beck tour, so we played it a bunch during the Beck tour, and um, I know it's disturbing. It really is. Um, what did he do? He just doesn't answer questions very easily. Like if you interviewed him, he would cry, and he may shit himself or whatever, you know. I mean, it's my dream to interview Brian know, Wilson, Wayne Coyne, the Flaming Lips. But you'll never do it because he's just too, he's too uncomfortable. Well, actually, it's my second dream because to interview you is a real dream well, because I was told, researching right. a bit about you there, Flaming Lip or Wayne or right, Coyne, or, right. and I heard that you don't do interviews before you play, that you only communicate non-verbally. What, what is that? <laughs> Somebody saw you before a show and you were like, uh, Oh, oh, well, that was, I, now, that, that was true. It was like, because I, if, if we play too many nights in a row, and then I talk, see, I'm, I, I, I talk too much, and then, because I only have so much of the, of the voice that I, you know, that you get, and then you, bam, if you've talked too much, then you can't sing that night. So I had to do a bunch of interviews where I was sort of just, you know, faking it. Like, they would ask me questions, I'd shake my head, yes or no. Thank I, you for not faking it today. Right, exactly, because I knew if I if I did, if I did, if I talked too much, then I wouldn't be able to sing that night. But it was only really for one day where I had to do two interviews that were going to be on TV. Do you realize... You're friends with Heather Graham, aren't you? Yes. Yes, and Heather Graham was in a movie with? With... 
Mike. Mike. My. Myers. Mike Myers, who is? Who's Canadian. Who's Canadian? So there's a Canadian connection for you. Right, but I don't know Mike Myers. I know, but you know Heather Graham. How do you know Heather Graham? I guess because she takes a lot of drugs and listen to, listens to music. Isn't that what all, how we get all our Flaming Lips fans? <laughs> Ba-boom! Thanks so much, Wing Coin. Okay. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 loot do What? You always do that bump bump. Yes, yes. thank you! <laughs> all right, see you guys. <laughs> He's the real deal, huh? <laughs>